We'll hear from the flight crew now. Commander Dick Scobie, followed by Mission Specialist uh, G. Ressler, Ron McNair, and uh, Pilot Mike Smith, followed by Krista Masala, Feature in Space, and, uh, Ellison Onizuka, and Payload Specialist Greg Jarvis. Big smiles today. And the first crew member, Commander Dick Scobie, now uh, in the White Room, taking off his jacket, uh, along with uh, Mike Smith, who is the, uh, the pilot. Uh, they're going to be going very fast today to get out of the cold and into the cabin. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start, 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Challenger, go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. One minute 15 seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Reports from the flight dynamics officer indicate that the vehicle. Uh, apparently exploded and that uh, impact uh, in the water. This is Mission Control Houston. We have no additional word at this time. Obviously a major malfunction. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. We are awaiting uh, verification from uh, uh, the location of the recovery forces in the field. We hope that this day would never come. But unfortunately it has, and with a tragedy that uh, all Americans share together. So I guess we could say that these seven that went up this morning carried the hopes and the dreams of all of us. And what we can do now is make sure that we carry their memories in carrying on. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them this morning, as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye and slipped the surly bonds of Earth.